Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn With Parka and Happy New Year! I'm Chanel. And I'm Kelly. And as you know, we're here to bring you marketing insights for the staffing and recruiting industry. Um, this week, we want to be hyper-focused on planning for the new year, um, starting with three of the most important things to prioritize in the year of 2022. So Kelly, why don't you start us off? So the first one is finding an operating system that works for your business. So really a framework of how to establish goals and make sure you're on track. Mm -hmm. We use EOS, which is Entrepreneurial Operating System here at our family of companies and have for the last, gosh, at least 12 years <laughs> that I know of. Uh, and it is a really cool framework. So find one that works for you, but let me just outline what it includes. For one, you wanna have an annual planning process, right? Now this would be at an entire organization level as well as each department. So if you've got your uh, recruiting team versus your sales team, they would each have their own. You can even do it by specific division, like if you've got healthcare staffing versus IT staffing. Uh, and the entire purpose behind this is what are my goals and what do I need to do to ladder up to those goals to make them happen? Mm -hmm. So you'll do that every year, but then you'll also have quarterly business reviews. So what are we doing to uh, take those steps Steps and what rocks, this is what EOS calls it, but basically what, what more bite-size quarterly goals does Chanel have, do I have in order to ladder up to that. Uh, a really cool concept is also what, what's called a rock share out. So let's say everybody on your team has quarterly goals. Maybe there's bonuses tied to them, whatever that looks like for your team, but it's things that are really important to push the business forward. You get together in a room and you share what was my rock what was the impact it had on the business? What did I find? And this is how it helps. And then everybody's learning from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of course, even just to a weekly uh, meeting, you know, from a weekly meeting standpoint, uh, EOS calls these L10s or leadership 10s, where it's basically, all right, let's get the right people in the room and talk about your business best, your personal best, what are issues we're trying to tackle, let's talk through those one by one, mm -hmm. are our rocks on track or off track? Uh, and really it just helps you progress through having a successful business that accomplishes great goals. Yes. So Kelly's point around annual planning within that dovetails perfectly into point number two, which is establishing your marketing plan and budget for the new year. So oftentimes this happens in Q4, but sometimes when things get busy and the holiday shuffle, it gets prioritized for the new year. So if this isn't something you've already established and documented and planned out, definitely prioritize that in the, in the first few weeks here in January. And that's really around establishing goals and objectives on overall company growth, revenue growth. How do, you, how do your marketing efforts need to, to be created in order to hit those goals, right? What KPIs and metrics are you going to outline to track to know, okay, are we being successful in deploying this plan, right? But setting those goals, of course, has an implication on that overall budget, right? You can't grow 200% year over year as a business if, you, if your budget is 10% right. of what it was this year, right? Like, figure out what goals you have, bake in a budget accordingly, right? Don't start with the budget first because mm -hmm. then you're gonna be pigeonholed to only accomplish certain things. Um, so whether it's a new website, whether it's figuring out what new marketing technologies or infrastructure do we need in place? What reporting methodologies do we need in place? Do I have the right applicant tracking system? Does that feed into my, my job board, right? All of those questions, ask them now, figure out what those priorities are, put it on paper and run. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, when you think about running, you've got to have the right people in the right seat yes. to make your plan happen. So this is a really hot topic everywhere and it has been for the last year, honestly. It's all around employment, attraction, and retention. Yes. So how do you get great people and how do you keep great people? Now, a few of the things to think about are, what are your needs, right? Like, where do you want to grow? What seats do you have on the bus that nobody's sitting in right mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. uh, another one is, Focusing on your culture, you know, in, a, in an environment where recruiters, salespeople, people in leadership can really go anywhere. Yeah, it's and the candidates market right now, it, as we all know. It really <laughs> is. Uh, they can go anywhere. The people that are recruiting them are doing a really good job selling that company. So if you're not equally doing a good job selling your company, you're gonna have a hard time attracting great candidates. Mm -hmm. So one way to do that is do fun things from a cultural standpoint. Have Employee of the Month awards, do company outings, do fun things like that, but also post about it on social yeah. so that people who are considering maybe working for your company get to see the environment they get to be a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, along those lines, recognitions. You know, set, set milestones for your employees and celebrate when they hit them. Uh, and then of course, outline their career progression. 
Right. I mean, this is something yeah. that recruiters, you're doing when you're recruiting a candidate. So you need to do that for your own team. You know, if they come in here, what are the steps they get to take to elevate in their career? And if that is a really cool defined path, you're going to have a better opportunity of not only retaining, but attracting great talent. Right. Because if, if candidates don't, if your employees don't feel like they have that constant growth opportunity right. and that opportunity to push forward and, and develop and, and help the business, they're, they're gonna get bored, they're gonna get yep. stuck, right? And and that also is great news for your business because if they feel challenged and motivated, mm -hmm. they're gonna hit those goals, right? That plan that you put in place, they're gonna execute. So that's what we've got for you this week. Feel free to reach out to us on LinkedIn um, or visit parkermarketing.com. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to strategize and plan with you for the new year ahead and uh, we'll see you next time.